Welcome to another TOEFL listening practice video. In this video, you will listen to a lecture, answer some questions about it, review the correct answers and explanations. Don't forget to subscribe for more TOEFL listening practice. Today's lecture will cover the concept of ecological succession, a fundamental process in ecology that describes how ecosystems develop and transform over time. Understanding ecological succession is crucial for comprehending how natural environments change and how they recover from disturbances. Ecological succession typically begins in a lifeless or severely disturbed environment. Such environments can include areas formed by volcanic eruptions, where lava flows have created new land, regions left bare by glacial retreats, where the glacier has scraped away all vegetation and soil, or areas devastated by natural disasters, such as forest fires. In these barren landscapes, the process of ecological succession starts with the colonization by pioneer species. Pioneer species are the first organisms to inhabit these challenging environments. They are specially adapted to survive in harsh conditions and include species like lichens, mosses, and certain hardy grasses. Lichens are particularly noteworthy because they are symbiotic associations between fungi and algae. The fungi help the algae absorb nutrients, while the algae provide the fungi with photosynthetic products. This partnership allows lichens to colonize bare rock surfaces, where they contribute to the breakdown of rocks through chemical weathering. Over time, lichens create small pockets of soil by accumulating organic material from their own decay and from external sources like wind-blown dust. Mosses, another type of pioneer species, further assist in soil formation by retaining moisture and providing a substrate for additional soil development. These pioneer species gradually create a more hospitable environment for other plants to grow. As the soil layer deepens and becomes richer in nutrients, it allows for the establishment of grasses and small shrubs. This stage is known as the herbaceous or early successional stage. During this phase, the ecosystem experiences an increase in biodiversity. Grasses and shrubs provide food and shelter for a variety of animals, including insects, small mammals, and birds. As succession progresses, the ecosystem enters the mid-successional stage. In this phase, the accumulation of organic material in the soil supports the growth of larger plants, such as shrubs and young trees. These plants continue to enhance the soil's nutrient content and structure. The increased vegetation supports a broader array of animal species, leading to more complex food webs and ecological interactions. For instance, the presence of trees and larger shrubs provides habitat and resources for a greater diversity of herbivores, which in turn support a wider range of predators. Eventually, the ecosystem reaches the climax community stage. This is the final and most stable phase of succession. A climax community is characterized by a diverse and well-balanced array of species that are well adapted to the local environmental conditions. In temperate regions, this might be a mature deciduous forest with a variety of tree species, understory plants, and a stable animal population. In tropical regions, it might be a dense rainforest with towering trees and a rich diversity of flora and fauna. The climax community is dynamic, but maintains its structure and composition over long periods, barring significant disturbances. Ecological succession is not a linear process and can be influenced by various factors, including climate change, human activities, and invasive species. For example, human activities such as deforestation, agriculture, and urban development can alter the natural course of succession by introducing non-native species and changing soil conditions. Similarly, Climate change can affect the rate and direction of succession by altering temperature and precipitation patterns. Understanding ecological succession provides valuable insights into ecosystem dynamics and resilience. It helps ecologists predict how ecosystems might recover from disturbances and how they might respond to environmental changes. This knowledge is also crucial for conservation and restoration efforts, as it guides strategies for managing and rehabilitating ecosystems to ensure their long-term sustainability. In conclusion, 
Ecological succession is a dynamic and complex process that transforms barren landscapes into diverse and stable ecosystems. It involves a series of stages, from the initial colonization by pioneer species to the establishment of a climax community. Each stage plays a vital role in shaping the structure and function of ecosystems, influencing their ability to recover from disturbances and adapt to environmental changes. One, what is the main focus of the lecture? Two, according to the lecture, what do pioneer species contribute to the early stages of ecological succession? Three, based on the lecture, how might climate change affect ecological succession? Four, how is the lecture organized? Five, what does the term climax community refer to in the context of the lecture? Six, what role do lichens play in the process of ecological succession? <laughs> 